Well, good day, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. All right. Um, because I've only got the two options here for punching and drifting, I'm going to make up a jig um, just to make things a wee bit easier uh, for drifting out because I'm unsupported in an inch and that one is also a wee bit big. So I'm going to make up a jig with a couple different things on it. So a piece of scrap, this is two mil. Ideally I'd do something a bit thicker, um, but this one will work for proof of concept. Okay, we're just gonna punch that center hole. Now I've got two inches center to center, or 50 mil for metric. So, that's going to be where the hole is. And then we'll come out twice the size and do the overall size. And we just set the compass to the size. And again with our larger size. Okay, so we're just going to mark our first hole now using um, 2 pi r and dividing by 5 because I want to put 5 holes in here. We get roughly 2.5. That's around the circle, but this will be near enough for government work. For government work? From that one. That gives me five roughly equally distant holes. Uh, we're going to start with a quarter inch, six and a half mil, half inch, twelve and a half mil. Uh, next one's going to be a three quarter. Uh, these ones I can drill because I've got those drill bits. And last one is a one inch, which basically takes me out the full size. And then I'm gonna have a slot. A what? A slot. Okay, for the slot, I'm just gonna mark a wee bit bigger than my slot punch. And I'll probably do that in quarter. Which should work out about right. Around 19 mil is the size for our quarter, our three quarter. And 25 mil for the one inch. Just slightly up off the line because that's the center of the hole. Okay, we'll need to make those holes manually. I'm also gonna put a hole in the center so I can through weld. As much as we can from here, I'm just going to nip it out with a chisel. This chisel might be too big.
Okay, then we'll just punch out the remainder. You notice I've got a cut plate over just to protect the anvil. I don't want to damage the nice clean face. Now we've got the holes all sorted out, need to start getting it into shape because I don't want square edges hanging off the edge of the anvil. It's gonna sit there. So square edges hanging off is gonna be a bad thing. So let's start moving it down to a circle. Now we've got it roughly to shape. You can't cut a perfect curve with a grinder. Um, so I'm gonna take across the belt grinder and smooth it out. All right, folks, we're up to the next day. Um, time to put the center pin in, which I just cut out a piece of 12 mil. It's a little bit smaller than the hole, but that'll work fine. Um, just put a little bevel on the end of it. Same on the other end that's going to be going down, just so it won't jam up. And I've also put a centre mark in it, just to help locate it through the hole. We just line it up with our centre lines. And that hole wasn't too centred, but hey. Hey, now we get to the part where I personally hate um, because as a welder, I make a good bladesmith. Okay, a wee bit of grinding just to clean up the oxides, the burrs, and just to make sure the weld doesn't look like my two and a half year old granddaughter had done the welding. All right, there we go, the concept works. Um, definitely need to go a heavier plate. Um, this two mil just didn't have the thickness to it and I've definitely got some deformation in the plate. Um, but, you know, that's what experiments are for to find these things out. I didn't think it was gonna be heavy enough, but it's the heaviest I had on hand. So the next time I see some heavier scrap, I'll pick a piece up. Um, but as far as 
you know, this made out of some scrap and a bit of spare time compared to, you know, a swage block, you're looking at starting at multiple hundreds of dollars, running up to thousands of dollars. Um, and it's not the sort of cash I've got sitting around at the moment. Um, I also don't have space for it. So this takes very little space. Take it out, put it away, and it's gone. Um, whereas the full swage block set up, it's just going to take a fair bit of room up. All right, there we go. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching, and bye for now.